Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have a very exciting video for you because we're going to Paul's and Sandy's and you guys love going to Paul's and Sandy's just as much as I do. We haven't been there since the last pop-up and pumpkin town. So Karen just restocked her curly girl cuttings and I wanted to see her Hoya. I have my eye on one in like particular, but she probably has other cute ones. So there's that. Okay, let's go to Paul's and Sandy's. Okay fam, so I skipped over everything else and came straight to the curly girl cuttings because I wanted this one, um, I forget the name, but I saw it on her Instagram, EPC964. I mean, it's really cute, right, and veiny. This one has a little active growth point, so definitely gonna need one of those. And she's got lots of cute little babes here. Some little sunrise for 15. I see some. This looks, she has it labeled as Memoria, but it looks like Lacanosa to me. Still cute, $20 regardless. Um, Playa Rosita for 12. I think she gave me a cutting of that. Oh, this one too. I might need this one. Carmel, Carmelé, I tried to import this one and they never shipped it. So, really cute. Um, Louder Bacchiae, this one is fuzzy for 30 bucks. Some Polynura for 20. These Obovada Splash are really stinking cute. I'm probably gonna need one of those too. Oh, that one has a peduncle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some Hindu ropes over here for 12 bucks. Um, let's see. The Parasitica heart leaf for 15. Some cute little baby hooshk for 20. Some bro marks. I saw one over there. I guess she was holding it for somebody. Oh, 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 oh. Here, I wanted one of these. I don't know which one. The Burl Marks. Variegated. That one's nice. Everything's fine. Um, these are cute too. I've been wanting one of these. Hamalamina. I mean, mine is still on the struggle bus, but this is like the camouflage looking one. Anyway. Up here we've got some Jose Buono for 50 bucks. Looks like a mid cut. She's got the Latifolia dinner plates for only 40 bucks. That's a really good, really good price on that. 60 for these two leaves. Ugh, if I didn't have one, I would definitely get one. Philodendron Glorious for 30. Cute. This is the Serge, Sergio, I call it, because I don't know how to say it, but they get pretty big and sun-stressed. This is Calkin's Gold Philodendron. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Definitely cute. 40 bucks on that one. She's got some Monstera Elbows here. Absolutely gorgeous for 200 for two leaves. I think they vary. There's 125 for this one leaf. Um, 140 for this one. It's a little bit higher variegation. Absolutely gorgeous. Another Jose. Some more glorious. This is a top cut. Cute. Fillet engine Rio. I don't know if I have the Rio. Strawberry Ice Syngonium's over there too. 15 bucks for this little Rio. Strawberry Ice for 20 bucks. 
cute, cute, cute. This is very tempting. Oof. Very, very tempting. What's hiding over here? Sarawak. <laughs> a little baby Sarawak with a new leaf popping out. $15, you guys. That's crazy. It's a baby leaf, but still. This Shrubii is gorgeous. Dark form. And then there's just some Tetrasperma down here. Little baby Obovadas, I think $10 on those. I mean, these are stinking cute though right here. I'm gonna need these. I mean, I don't need them, but I want them. So there's that. Definitely want, came for that one. I feel like I don't need this one. So I feel like somebody said they were gonna give me a cutting, but I don't remember who. But I keep on wanting to get it and I never do. I might have to just stick with the Hoyas today, you guys. All right, I'm gonna leave those there for now. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. I've tried to import one, like I don't even know how many times. All right, she's got tons of like other plants. So let's look at those too. There's some philodendron billy ties over here for 110. Absolutely in love with mine. Standaliana for 50. Mm, these are the 69686 for $60. Really pretty. Got some Ring of Fires here for 100. Not a bad price to be able to get one in person. These cute little Parisos for 70. Yeah, she has like everything you could possibly want. This is the Philodendron Summer Glory for 25. Cute. It looks like it's self-heading and not a climber. I mean, not a crawler. Which means like maybe maybe I'll actually get one. It's really cute. Some silvery chismoglottis thingy, I think is what it's called. We've got some Monstera elbows for 25. Not Monstera. We wish. I do that all the time. <laughs> Syngonium. Syngonium elbows. Little baby ones. I was curious what these were. Oh, Hamalamina Humilio Black. Okay. She's cool. She kind of looks like a Mykins, but her leaves are much thicker. And um, they're long, nice and long. Cute. I feel like I kind of want one, but they're really thirsty. So this is an appropriate pot for it. This is one of my favorite pots. Uh, gorgeous Monstera Dubia. I don't remember how much these are and I'm afraid to like take it out of here. Oh, $90. Cute, these are adorable. Some sort of epipremnum growing here. Synapsis uh, jade for 36. I feel like I forgot stuff. There's some Calatheas going on over here. African Violets. Lots of Aglionemas. Some Ferns. I skipped over the Alocasias. Nice! Yes. I throw mine in, right in water when they do that. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> Some sort of alocasia that I don't know the name of, but it's cute and really dark. Really, really pretty. There's a alocasia dragon scale. Some pink dragons over here. Um, this is the Chantrieri. I love this one. This one's really pretty. Mine's variegated. And then there's some really nice lemon lime marantas down here. You guys know I've been 
wanting one of these. Kind of want like a big hanging basket. This is 14. But these ones are kind of cute. 14. Mm. These are really cute. I don't know why. I, I just really like the contrast of these leaves. This guy is really cute too. What are you? Okay. And then there's a ton of um, philodendron silver sword hanging out over here for $16.99. Some philodendron Florida green. There's a few of them. Bipenifolium for a hundred. And these pink princesses are massive. Look at that leaf. Huge. Wait, seriously, these are only $60? That's crazy. $40 for the small ones. These are really beautiful. And I don't really like Pink Princess that much. So there's that. Okay, back over here we've got all of the ficus. Cute little ficus benjaminas. We've got the elasticas over here. This stunning Brill Marks in the window. Some micans hanging up there these gorgeous uh, string of pearls absolutely stunning look at those so long for only $25 love that some more string of things hanging out down here 20 bucks for the little baby ones these look variegated are they variegated? This one's variegated. 20 bucks. Ah, huh, okay. Okay. Yeah, they're variegated. This one's cute. I have a hard time keeping the variegated ones alive. I don't know why. Green ones I don't have an issue with. This is a really cute setup. Oh my god, look at the little bat. Stop it. Is that is that real? it come with the succulent in it stop that's so cute look at the little ghost I don't want the succulent I just want the bat planter but it's stuck in there oh my god that is so stinking cute cute little gnomes okay we've got some synapsis Exotica hanging out over here. Some Splash for $12.99. Pylea down here. The usual stuff. Some Tradescantia. These are really cute too. My goodness. $10.99. Say hello to the Morgan's plants up here. She's always saying that she misses them. So what have we got over here? Some little vanilla orchids for 15. I'm obsessed with my variegated one. This dog planter is so cute. 15. 10 bucks for these uh, variegated string of hearts. I oh got these dogs. Good thing they're not cats or I'd be buying them all. Okay, we've got all of these Hoyas here still. This is the Shepherdii. This is the Kentiana that I've been wanting to get. Not Kentiana. Um, variegated Wayetii. 60 bucks. Should I get it? I've been wanting it. It's just been hanging out here. No one buys it. And uh, I feel like it wants to come home with me. So we've got some regular obovadas down here with some splashy leaves for $16.99. Some caudatas, little ones for $12.99. Mm -hmm. 
bare ones for 37 super cute little baby lacanosa croniana 12.99 Now we've got philodendrons over here, silver stripe for 36, some micans. Got lots of hanging baskets up here as well, some pothos mixed in. These philodendrons down here are really pretty. And the usual, more pothos over here, always looking really pretty very peaceful some more pink princesses looking gorgeous in the sun over here some Cebu blue for $12.99 on those look at this one though it's getting massive I wish mine would actually like take to the pole that it's on it's just like <sighs> runners that I have to keep wrapping around the pole some golden crocodiles over here looking sad for 10 bucks. I already rescued one. Little baby fern. And then this is where all the succulents are. Some cute stuff back here. These little hens and chicks are looking cute. Some really nice pictures. Some epiphytic thingy mabobbers. What are these even? Some sort of jungle cactus, right? I think they're epiphytic. Maybe not. I genuinely don't know. But that's fine. Everything is fine. So, yeah. That's it. There's still an elliptica here. She needs a home. Keeps marking it down, 65. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I get this one? I've been wanting it. I probably shouldn't. Cause I'm already spending like too much money today. <sighs> it's fine, it's been here, it's been here. I just haven't bought it keep wanting to but I haven't so there's that you look at these cute little guys I can't stand this I don't want the succulent I just want the bat should I get it I mean this is something I'd have like all year round not just all week okay let's get my Hoyas I left on the floor over here. Okay fam, so that was Paul's and Sandy's and she was not joking. She was fully stocked, all the good stuff and all the curly girl cuttings. You guys know I had to go and check out her Hoyas. So uh, let me show you what I got. I decided on this cute little Hoya Obovada inner variegated with splash because it's got one two peduncles. I don't know if you can see it because I only got one hand. Oh, oh there's something in my eye and it burns. Ah, it's fine. So super cute little Hoya Obovada inner variegated. Not super variegated, but um, that's fine because it's growing. It's got like lots of new little baby leaves and um, lots of roots. So not mad about it. Curly girl cuttings. Got that one. I This is the one I went for. The Hoya Irina. Irina. Because I had a cutting and uh, it rotted. So this one has a little active growth point down in here. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, yeah. Super cute. Lots of happy little roots. And i um, probably going to get to repotting some of these pretty soon. So Hoya Irina EPC 964. I don't know if that's different than regular Irina, Irina, but it's veiny. So obviously I wanted it 
And then I picked up this cute little baby Hoya Carm Carmele Carmelie. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but look at those little leaves. They're like just really cute, dark leaves. I can turn you guys around and show you when I get home in better lighting. But I mean, seriously, look at how stinking cute that is and she said this one grows really really well and then you guys you know i had to get this it's a bat it's got this cute little horthia in it that i don't hate either i'll probably just leave it in there um it was only 12 dollars, so you know i had to get this this is gonna be so cute on the shelves behind me for our videos and then i'll probably move it to the bedroom with the rest of my like spooky stuff that I keep out all year long so I keep like my skeletons and all my stuff out all year and this one will definitely be an all-year decoration because it's always Halloween in our house and then I picked up a few more of my favorite little terracottas for my Hoyas that do not have drainage they're just the perfect size for my pots that I like to put them in and I like the terracotta helps absorb the excess water so there's that that is my little haul for the day definitely recommend coming and checking out what she has she's got all the philodendrons all the hoya all the good rare stuff all the good common stuff like you couldn't possibly want more out of a trip so there's also pumpkin town still going on so if you want to take your kids and make a whole day of it there's that so if you're looking for an excuse to take an hour or two drive to go there Put the kids in the car put your husband in the car and uh come on down to pumpkin town so i'm gonna go because it's like a thousand degrees i put this beanie on thinking it was like cold out and it's like not so but i didn't do my hair in case you didn't notice so there's that anyway i'm gonna go i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm in the big y parking lot i don't think they're gonna have anything but if they do i'll throw in some footage at the end of this video for you but if you enjoyed this you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam come hang out get all your little perky perks and if not there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel every bit is appreciated i cannot do this without you guys i repeat i cannot do this without you guys and i love you so so very much and i hope i see you in the next one bye Hey Plan Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jack Lynn. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, I'm like crying. My eye won't stop watering today. What the hell?